There's been a Twitter trend going around. In fact, I'll just show you the tweet. What is the most insane thing someone has said during an interview? And when Kance was going through the responses to this tweet, he says he laughed so hard he cried, and he cried so hard he picked his pants. So if I don't laugh today when going through these memes, he's fired. The interviewer's look of disbelief still funny to me. Do you like teenage girls? When you say teenage, how are we talking? Girls who are teenagers. Ooh, that's a tough one. That is a very, very tough one because look at how prepared he is. He's like, all right, they're going to hit me with the heat. I have to get through this. Do you like, sorry, one more time. Let, me, let him say it. Do you like teenage girls? Do you like teenage girls? The easiest question in the world to say no to. When you say teenage, how are we talking? I don't know why he's doing that. Well, actually, I'm not a pedophile. I'm an abuse file because they're 18 or something it's just so weird he's doing literally the reddit atheist like i it's a thousand year old dragon in the middle of this interview and it makes no sense to me i really need to resist the urge to tell you it's a, a hib a hibophile not a billophile yeah fucking got him police woo, woo, woo. round him up we got one right here in our chat you will never find a more insane interview from the huffington post is this who, who, who am I who am I looking at here? Who's Jeremy Irons? Let's let's give myself a little the voice of Scar. Wow. OK, because. You see. Could a father not marry his son? Uh, well, there are laws against incest. It's not incest between men. <laughs> incest is is this whole thing going to be people who misunderstand something very basic? <laughs> It's not incest if it's dudes. Hey, bro, ask the Greeks. They were fucking each other in the ass all day. Uh, well, there are laws against incest. It's not incest between men. Incest is there to protect us from having um, uh, uh, inbreeding. With, uh, um, but, 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 is it Jeremy Irons? Is it to protect against inbreeding or is it to protect? Uh, I guess I don't know. It must be. I was going to say to protect children, but theoretically, you could be two 40 year old siblings. Shit, is Jeremy Irons right? Men don't breed. That <laughs> Men don't breed is such a banger final line. Yeah, how did this come up in the interview? I am watching a curated 23 second snippet and I would love to know. Man, that was embarrassing, huh? The only thing more embarrassing? Being caught with long pubic hair. And I'd never be caught dead that way because of today's sponsor, Manscaped. Ladies and gentlemen, if I look shaggy up here, Let's just say that's the only place because I just received a new care package from Manscaped, including their brand new Lawn Mower Razor. Now, fans of the Stance channel have known that I was sponsored by Manscaped years ago. And since then, I have used the original Lawn Mower Razor probably weekly, if not at least bi-weekly. And even though I had no need to upgrade, holding this brand new piece of technology obviously shows that it is better. It's heavier, it's weightier. You can charge it outside of the stand. It's just a standard USB-C, which is a lot easier than bringing a stand with you maybe when you're traveling. It also came with many other goodies. For example, this crop preserver. There's also some, if you have sensitive skin down there, some lotion you can use. Let me grab it for you. It's called Crop Soother. It is ball after shave lotion. And sometimes when I shave a little too close, I need this kind of thing. If you wanna be like me, if you wanna clean up down there, if you wanna make sure that you for a good upstanding citizen, all you have to do is go to manscaped.com and use my code STANS, S-T-A-N-Z. You get 20% off, you get free shipping, and you can check out the latest and greatest in shaving technology. It's not only for your undercarriage, you can use it on your face, hell, you could probably use it on your head. I remember the first time I used the Manscaped razor compared to like a standard pharmacy electric razor. I was blown away with how close to the skin it got and how good it left me looking. So make sure you use code STANS, get your 20% off, get your free shipping, try out Manscaped, come back here and let me know what you think. Thank you, Manscaped, for sponsoring this video. Uh, the most insane thing, here we go. Who, should I know who this is? This is the woman who Donald Sterling was dating. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. For those of you that don't know, the owner of the Clippers used to be a man named Donald Sterling, and Donald Sterling got caught on tape saying the N-word a lot and a lot of other things like that. And so they kicked him out of the league, and now Steve Ballmer, the Microsoft guy, owns the Clippers. And this is his girlfriend at the time?
Can you tell me what your relationship with Donald Sterling is? I'm Mr. Sterling's right hand arm <laughs> man. <laughs> I'm Mr. Sterling everything. I'm his confidant, his best friend, his silly rabbit. <laughs> his, <wh> <laughs> his what? Can't say to me. <laughs> He's my silly rat. <laughs> Mr. Sterling's right hand <laughs> arm man. Uh. I'm Mr. Sterling everything. I'm his confidant, uh. his best friend, his silly rabbit. His what? His silly rabbit. His silly rabbit? Yes. Is that what he calls you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Top of the dome? Does he call you that? No. <laughs> oh my god, I can't stop crying. No, I can't play it again. I can't play it again because we'll never, we'll never watch another clip. We'll never watch, we'll never, we will never watch another. What your relationship with Donald Sterling is? I'm Mr. Sterling's right hand arm man. I'm Mr. Sterling everything. I'm his confidant, his best friend, his silly rabbit. His what? His silly rabbit. His silly rabbit? Yes. Is that what he calls you? No. <laughs> Can you tell me what you're... That's crazy. That's amazing. Oh, no. Is this Tom Cruise, I love this woman jumping on the couch? Is this classic? Because I shoot left-handed. What hand do you write with? I write with my right. I originally used to write with my left, but they made me write with my right when, as a kid. So you do some things right-handed, some things Some right things, you know, right-handed, some things. This is what Mike's- oh. <laughs> oh my God, that was so mischievous. Did you see that? Holy shit. <laughs> this is what Mike Siegel- <laughs> <laughs> So charming. Is <laughs> that is Riz. If you want to put it in the dictionary, because imagine if if I said that. Imagine if, if someone else said that, it's not the same. This some wild shit. Before. You, none, none, no, I've never shit in a tissue before. You shit, you touch shit every single day if you shit. Like, you don't wipe yourself? It got shit in the tissue when you wipe yourself. You don't know how to get the, it. why are you touching the shit? The tissue no. is for the shit. That's what I'm saying, you, you grab shit No, all the no, time no, the you're tissue. not saying that. You don't. Yeah, you You're wipe. You're wiping. You grab the shit. You don't grab. Why are you grabbing hold shit? Hold on, hold on. Do you got so shit you stuck in me, your ass while you're on, taking... Are so you telling me that y'all just let the doodle fall in the toilet? <laughs> oh, no. He's on the radio. Oh, no. Is he going diving for it? Yeah, that's what we're telling you. Of course, everyone does that. Y'all don't catch it every time? Yeah, she, I gotta move my camera so you can see her face. Are you telling me that y'all just let the doodle fall in the toilet? Y'all don't catch it every time? Yo. I am about to leave, bro. How do y'all take a shit? How much Does he think there's gonna be people on his side out there? This shit wrong. My nigga. I've been catching my shit all these years. Nah, I'm more disgusted than like, I feel like I can't continue. What are you talking about? I'm, my stomach So hold is on, so y'all just sit there and shit right, come right out. No way. What happens if you got the no runs way. or something like that? Yo, what do you do then? That shit, you wash your hair? Why do you think people wash their hair? <laughs> you wash your hair? What a good response. You wash your hair, man. Why do you think we got sinks? That's crazy. It's so funny. He's trying to act like he's not the crazy one. Yeah, but I also think that, I think that this is planned, right? Okay, this is a tweet from someone we all know, we all love. Bradley Cooper saying he would be fine if someone shot his eight-month-old daughter and having fond memories of showering and being naked with his dad? What? I remember the first time I realized, because I was like, I would die in a second for my kid. 
I'm always like, if I'm being honest, uh, I don't know. Like, <laughs> that's so funny. He's just doing a joke. He's just doing a joke, right? Because that's funny already. The first yeah. like eight months, I'm like, I don't even know if I really love the kid. We don't know it's her yet. It's dope. It's cool. I'm watching this thing morph. And then all of a sudden. I love that honesty, by the way. That's my experience. That's a lot of people's, I think, and they're afraid to say that. I mean, my experience. Totally- <laughs> we all fucking hate our kids. Punt them. Love taking care of it. Would I die if someone came in with a gun? It's only a couple of months. I don't know. I yeah, she's, she's just a lot. <laughs> she didn't even have any drinks. Well, he's funny. Yeah. I, I think, I think he's just running a bit, but maybe the second thing will make me feel weirder about it. I didn't grow up that way. Right. At all. No. I don't think I ever saw my father on the toilet until he got sick. Right. Like ever in my life. We can have a hundred conversations. I need six hours. And we got to talk about nudity with a daughter. So it's like, we're the Swedish style or German. Like we're naked all the time. Me too. And by the way, I was like that. Not with my mom, but my dad. He my was dad always, was nude. always nude. And always took showers with him. There was no, it was just no, the no evacuation, yeah, yeah. but <laughs> yeah. showering was fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And you're quite comfortable nude. Totally. Okay. What? He's never seen his dad on the toilet, but he's like, oh, no, but we showered together all the time. To be clear, I had to listen to the whole context. The vibe was, I love my daughter so much now. She's my world, but I didn't used to. Yeah, the first one makes a lot of sense. It's just a guy making a funny joke on a podcast. You know what I mean? The second one feels a little bit weirder. Let's move on. Was just thinking about this again the other day. I mean, you know, people are entitled to their sexual proclivities. You know, I mean, let there be a thousand blossoms bloom as far as I'm concerned. You know, but I ain't spending any time on it because in the meantime, every three months, a person is torn to pieces by a crocodile in North Queensland. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, what? He says, hey, let your freak flag fly. There's thousands of sexual proclivities and I'm not here to prosecute them. (laughs) Why? Because the crocodiles are coming for us. Is that what I'm understanding? He is not going to prosecute people out there doing sexual things because the crocs are ripping people limb from limb. People are entitled to their sexual proclivities. (laughs) You know, I mean, let there be a thousand Blossoms bloom as far as I'm concerned. But I ain't spending any. (laughs) Dude, it's like Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. Holy shit. This is in Rivendell when Bilbo's trying to get the ring back. Oh, hey, Frodo. Yeah. You know what I mean? The second he thinks about crocodiles, he goes from kindly old grandpa to fucking Terminator, Crocodile Hitler. That's insane. Lieutenant Governor Randy McNally from Oak Ridge. Exclusive interview, McNally described how he befriended the young man first on Facebook, then on Instagram. Among the posts, this close-up of the young man's backside, McNally responded with three red hearts and three on-fire emojis. (laughs) The thought that this is on an account that only gets like 38 likes is crazy. Oh, sorry. He not only replied with the emojis, Lieutenant Governor McNally also replied with Finn. You can turn a rainy day into rainbows and sunshine. Uh, you know, try to encourage people with posts and try to, um, you know, help them. I feel like, yeah, yeah, it's weird. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird. Sorry. I, you know what? I was trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. Man, this is funny. <laughs> Greatest moment in boxing history. Oh, it's like this, man. Have you ever taken those pills, the laxative pills? You know, the ones you take, you pop, and you wait for 20 minutes to go to the toilet, and they go through you? Mm-hmm. I'm going to go through this man. <laughs> it's a bit of a weird analogy. Everybody knew exactly what I was talking about. I'm going to go through this guy. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to be shit inside of him? I, <laughs> no one knew what you are talking about. Like, mm-hmm. I'm going to go through this man. the pause of like there's gonna be more coming there has to be more coming right and then when he doesn't say another word just scrunch up your face be like bro it's a bit of a weird analogy (laughs) it's a bit of a weird analogy (laughs) yeah he was proud of it i hope he thought that up on the spot because if he thought that up before the interview and was like this is gonna kill that's that's crazy uh i have no idea what this is if i didn't may god murder my children i don't even 
I hate that I even spoke about that. If I didn't, may God murder my children. No, don't say that. Please yeah. kill them today. Right? <laughs> Dude, this rules. I love that's how I talk on stream all the time. It's so funny. I hate that I even spoke about that. If I didn't, may God murder my children. No, don't say that. Please yeah. kill them today. <laughs> In fact, I brought them to the studio. They're right back here. Come on, God, kill them. <laughs> don't say that into kill him today is so funny there's nothing that people who love attention want more than to do the thing you just told them not to do the double down there is absolutely mm, delicious oh rob ford classic oh rest in peace rob ford rob ford speaks at city hall calls allegations of cocaine use an outright lie olivia gondak it, it says that i want to eat her pussy olivia gondak i've never said that in my life to her i would never do that i'm happily married i've got more than enough to eat at home thank you very much <laughs> Mayor Ford with the jersey. <laughs> How did OJ Simpson get away with this? The last clip of the day. Uh, OJ Simpson, for those of you that don't know, very famous college football player. Uh, that's it. Nothing else. Don't know anything else about him. After we finished filming, OJ said to me that uh, he had a surprise for me, and I genuinely was surprised. Just did you do it? <laughs> no, I didn't. I think it was his idea of a joke. And this is it. <laughs> I've never seen that. Holy. <laughs> and this is his idea of a joke. <laughs> it's so funny because he killed a person. <laughs> That's so funny. Is it a banana? I don't know what it was. The sound of it. Yeah. Uh, the veil says I missed one. All right, The Veil, you have one chance, one shot. If it is Poop Sock... That's tough.